the design culture is highly collaborative at KT. Um, we have an open floor plan. We have wheels on all of our desks. We're able to move pretty fluidly. We like to be able to pull from anywhere in the room for good ideas. My name is Matthew Crystal. I'm a partner here at Karen Timberlake. It's important that we don't continue to see uh, beauty and performance as mutually exclusive. I believe we can and do design and build buildings that are both cost effective but are also places of desire. They are places that create great value. My name's Bunny Tucker. I'm an architectural designer at Karen Timberlake. My name's Megan Swa. I'm an architectural designer at Karen Timberlake. I think the most powerful part of our design process is that we're working in multiple media at lots of different scales simultaneously. And it's not that one person is working on renderings, another person is working in a model shop, but we're all engaged in all of those processes simultaneously. And when we talk about collaboration, the ability for experts and non-experts to kind of come together and contribute, or if we truly believe that all of us are smarter than any one of us, then we need a space that's more inclusive. In a lot of ways, Modelo is like that. These browser-based tools are sketching a future of building on the expertise that people already have just from working through the internet. Hi, I'm Christopher Konick, a design competition leader in the research group at Karen Timberlake. Typically, we have to choose between highly choreographed or created uh, design artifacts, like a plan, a section, or a rendering, or highly interactive um, artifacts, like a Revit or a Rhino model. Um, what Modillo allows us to do is to bridge that gap between static and curated drawings and dynamic uh, modeling environments. So we have used, there's a couple times we've used Modelo with clients, and one example that I was um, not surprised to see, but it was really rewarding, was a time that we, I brought the model in and we were doing a visioning session. And for people who aren't used to working in 3D models, aren't used to seeing their space or buildings in that way, the ability to open that up, create some sections, move through some of the spaces, was really transformative to getting them to engage in the potential for the project. Uh, I'm John McCandlish, and I'm an associate at Karen Timberlake. So um, our design process is very fluid. It's very iterative. We will um, share ideas with each other. We typically start with a conversation. But ultimately, uh, we like to test our designs by actually walking through them, by actually putting ourselves in the shoes of the people who are going to be moving through a building or a space and um, seeing what is successful and what isn't successful. As architects, we, we need to have intuitively, um, but to actually be able to visualize it cinematically, and Modelo is one of those tools that we, that we rely on. We use Modelo every day. And so when we come together for our weekly design reviews or when someone sits down at my desk and wants to talk about uh, something that I've already worked on, it's changed the way that we collaborate because they've already seen something. They're already coming to the table with richer ideas. Uh, it's, something's been marinating in their mind for a while because they opened it on their laptop on the train or when they got home. Um, and so the conversations end up being a bit richer because everyone's in that space more often. Modelo has been um, instrumental, I think, in terms of saving us time. It's been incredibly um, fast for team members and, and non-team members alike to pick up, not only to actually navigate around models, but to actually create their own content. Um, and that was something, frankly, that was um, the barrier to do that pr previously was, was um, tens or even hundreds of hours of computational time. Modelo has been able to save us time and effort because we can work longer up until the point of a presentation. And so whereas I used to export views from Revit or try to send up, set up walkthroughs that might take a night to render, uh, half an hour, an hour before we actually are going to look at something, that's when I can stop work. Modelo has a stunning graphic quality um, that allows us to evaluate early design decisions in a really effective way in a three-dimensional manner. We think it looks great. <laughs> it does. 
and say Modelo brings our designs to life.